Groovers coming at you slightly at an angle here tonight from Nashville, Tennessee. When Miss Emma Swift joins me, this view will be perfect. Meantime, you can see me squinting at you through the white void. Thanks for joining us wherever you are. We're here with you. You've just lost the ride to your body. The world is spinning backwards, back the way it came. the 
leaves and she leads the life that she learned so well from the old wife it's so strange to arrange it you know I wouldn't change it but hear me if you need me can I just rearrange it the watchman covers me with his remedies I can't breathe it's hard to feel I think his magic might be real Whoops. I can't get to you from your garden gate you know it's always locked by the magistrate now he don't care why you cry you know he thinks it's just a lie to get out I don't doubt that you'd make a try if the good times get you free you know the dogs don't bother you they'll be gone in moonshine time I got a place they'll never find You know, I do believe in your hexagram, but can you tell me how they all knew the plan? Did you trip or slip on their gifts? You know that just because you knew it, why'd you do it? I've been fighting in the dark Now I must be on my way And they would really like to stay Inside the mission hall Down in Modoc, Arkansas A nimbly chaotic version of the band's classic Caledonia Mission with the legendary vocal by Rick Danko, of course. Good Lord, talking of legends, it's Miss Emma Smith. I've come Suddenly. to impose myself on the white space oh my God, that and try better. and get you into a more flattering angle because you've got yourself into a real white jam. Have I? Oh, yeah. Lord, okay. So I'm going to ask you to scoot down the sofa just okay, slightly. Okay, let's do that. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah, I'm sure I look absolutely... Giving the groovers a close-up of my unwashed hair. Yeah, and your unwashed husband. Hang on. Oh. Whoops. No, no, then I'm on the... Oh, that's better. Just trust me. But tell me, As the family sweet asleep, Emma, where are you going to sit when you join me? I don't know. I'll work that out. Oh, look, the camera's moving. This is incredible, folks. Now, this pillow, this pillow here is coming into view in a staggering way. It has not been seen since NASA's exploratory shot of this pillow in the late 60s, of course, which we know was the epicenter of all time. Outside in the back is Nashville, settling into the dark. Here's Miss Emma Swift making everything look absolutely fantastic. Are you joining me yet or just, no, I she's just not. had to fix the view, I'll okay. be with you shortly. Okay, I'll look now, see I'm closer up and slightly uh, more directly on. <laughs> it's great to be on, it's great to be directly on. What have we got here? We've got some requests. Oh boy, okay. Somebody has requested Hmm. Somebody has requested pointed at Gran. That's baby squid. Okay, let's see what this sounds like here in Nashville. That thing that looks like the moon, by the way, that, that reflection there is actually not the moon. Alone and pointless by her mouldering self, she stares at the can of sardines on the shelf. By a paraffin lamp in a dingy brown room, Gran sits and broods in the thickening gloom. It's a gloom that congeals, it's so greasy and thick, you could cut it into strips and hand round on a stick, and hand round to friends, but there's nobody there, 
just gran on her own in a miserable chair. So don't point at me, point it at gran. She needs it more than I do, and more than Princess Anne. With Princess Anne's 82. Good point. Why not kind of drift away, you know, rather than just ending suddenly like that in a dismal note. Let's all pray for some kind of gentle, amorphous exit. You don't even know whether you're there or not. And the people around you, they don't even know if you're there or not. And people kind of forget you completely. Oh, blimey. When did he pass away? I don't know, a couple of months ago. He's just been lying there with a big grin on his face. Well, I know that's how a lot of my relatives went. All right, let's try another request. This one comes in from Glenn. I think it's for his wife, and it's called Beautiful Girl. Hey, Mrs. Glenn, happy birthday from me and my hair. All right. <clears throat> with a beautiful girl Well I thought I knew all about everything But I'm in love with a beautiful girl And she's staring through a crack in the sky And she's staring through a crack in the sky Well I thought I knew all about everything But I'm in love with a beautiful girl Well I thought I knew all about everything But I was wrong I thought I knew all about everything I thought I knew all about everything But I'm in love with a beautiful Oh, I'm in love with a beautiful girl Well, I thought I knew all about everything But I'm in love with a beautiful girl Let's go, yeah She's in love with a wonderful guy She's in love with a wonderful guy Well, I hope she's in love with you I think she's in love with I'm in love with a beautiful girl Charming and dangerous guy. Oh, I'm a charming and overweight guy. But if you don't expect too much, it's alright. I'm in love with a beautiful girl. Yeah, I'm in love with a beautiful girl. Well, I thought I knew all about everything, but I'm in love with a beautiful girl. Woo! So we're going through a hole in the sky. Yeah, we're going through a hole in the sky. For the longest while Cause I'm in love with a beautiful girl Oh I'm in love with a beautiful girl Yeah I thought I knew all about everything But I'm in love with a beautiful girl Oh I'm in love with a beautiful girl This is Glenn I thought I knew all about everything But I'm in love with a beautiful girl And so is Glenn Hey happy couple Be happy Okay um I can feel, talking of beautiful girls, that Emma Swift is coming close up. Now, because I don't quite get this left-right thing, I'm not quite sure which side of the screen she's going to appear on. Hang on a second, I'm just going to be prepared. 
Um, you're going to come. You look. I'm oh my God, she's coming in that way. I'm going to come in. Okay, and then you're going to go there. Give the groovers a lovely close-up. You're going to go on that, on that cushion. Oh, hey. Lower hair. Your lower hair. Hi, groovers. Oh, gee, I'm moving back Happy here. Happy Thursday. We'll be back in August on Wednesdays just uh, to get back to routine. And oh. someone did request in the chat. They said the it's nice to see us moving around and out and about in the world, but they do miss... Ringo and Tubby, and so, so do we. we are oh. MG, and we've got we're rather looking and the Daffinator. The Daffinator. We're definitely going to be with them next, next week. week. Um, I'm not sure after that. We're slight, somewhat in motion, but so, yeah. We're currently in the thick of the shuffle mania chaos. We are in the shuffle mania. We've been plunged into the chaos that only a new record can produce, especially if it's one of mine. It's very exciting. It is so exciting that I. I we fall asleep. Can, we confused not one but two gentlemen from FedEx this week, and I think that's a good. Oh, a good every start. time. I mean, just straight. They as soon as they turn up, they're confused. Yeah, I mean, it's part of their job description. They go, oh no, not those baffling weirdos. Uh, they just the go, Swift-cox. hello, are you be from FedEx? What be going on then, eh? <laughs> Do FedEx workers come from the West Country? Oh, yeah, okay. then they don't come up for us. They come from Exeter, like, mm-hmm. don't they? Yeah, You're especially very here in silly Tennessee. Tonight. Oh gosh. <laughs> Okay, I wanted to give a shout out to Sasha. Oh, I can't read it. Okay, Sasha, John and Tamsin, Erin and Bob, Oren, Michael, Colin, Sponge. Sponge. Chris and Monica, Michelle, Rob, Steve, Julie, Bob and Jessica for your contributions to the Fancy Feast Fund. Oh, and over on this side of the page... KDJ as well. Thanks, KDJ, folks. KDJ, check it out. High five. That's so fabulous. And a very happy birthday to Anne, who has oh, requested yes. Ordinary Millionaire. We saw Anne in New London. Did we now? One week ago, two weeks ago, two weeks ago. New London. I've lost yes. all sense of time. And okay. it's also Mossy Licker's birthday. Is it? So Anne's requested happy. Ordinary Millionaire. And Mossy Licker has requested Veins of the Queen. I can play Veins of the Queen. I can't remember the chords to Born New Millionaire. I'll have to work them out again. Okay. Um, we're talking Would about this, actually. It's, um, it may be it just, I don't know what it is, but it's just getting hard to remember chords and think words and things now. Because maybe there's so much overload. Stuff, as you said, like each time you pick up a new song, an old one gets knocked off. You have to run through something at least once or twice as a reminder. Unfortunately, yeah. Uh, so, um, unless I happen to know it and I happen to know Veins of the Queen because okay. it's stored somewhere else. That's a boring reality for this statement. Oh, well, it's kind of so- it is boring, but I mean, the truth is that comforting stuff is boring, isn't it? Mm, well, that's that's the comforting That's why the I live in a permanent state of discomfort. <laughs> Well, same here, but, yeah. you know. When things start to feel safe, I feel edgy. Well, you're fine with me, then. Mm. Could you play um, for Debbie Reynolds? I can play After for... you played Veins of the Queen. Yep, okay. You don't know Veins of the Queen, so you... I can probably approximate it. There's a fantastic counterpoint, which I've never taught you, which is what they want you to do. Mm. But, um... Well, I'll do my... I'll do my own thing that's not what Morris can you would Can do. you simulate a... I'd simulate mm. a, a sort of choral anti- antibody. A choral antibody? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to... Who's this one for? Mossy Licker? It's for Mossy Licker, whose birthday it is. That means Mossy Licker is a Leo. I wonder yeah. what the most... I mean, I wonder which... I wonder which sign more... How do I put this? You want to know what the stats are on groovers well, and what signs they are. the stats on regular groovers. Like, is there an mm. astrological bias mm. towards... Leos or something like that. You know I don't I mean? know. I guess we'll find out. Or well, we won't. In our house, there's an astrological bias towards Pisceans. But if we get a cat called Debbie Reynolds... It depends when, when La Debbie is born. Been up all night. Huh? Oh, you know what? I'm we were going to play Veins of the Queen oh, and then shoot. Debbie Reynolds. I can't even remember the order of songs. I just brought up the cat instead. What? No, but I know that Hyacinth requested a song for her in memory of her late cat. And I can't, because I can't work that song out either that she requested. I have no memory. But I know she years ago requested Debbie Reynolds, which I can sort of play. Oh, we've decided that this show is just us talking about songs we don't remember how to play. Songs we can't play with the Swift Cops. Oh, yeah. Um, Look, there's a huge white space 
that side. I know, but I like being here. Yeah, I know. Because I can squint at the screen. Oh, you can. And okay. monitor the things. And like, we have, you have to imagine that Davy or somebody is there. Yeah. Or Tubby. Tubby, actually, especially Tubby. God. Yeah, just put your own life-size Tubby. I can turn this tubby. bolster into Tubby. Turn this bolster into Tubby with that sort of Christ-like gesture. Okay. Turn this bolster into Tubby. No, it's not working, is it? Okay, I'll put that there. Ah. Here's things we did not organise earlier. Things we did not organise earlier, okay. Okay. What do you mean? Vain oh, to the Queen, hang mm. on. Oh, the veins of Her Majesty the Queen. They're so regal and serene. To say I'd be down the veins of Her Majesty the Queen, tunnel down their beauteous sheen and tell everyone I'd be. Oh, the Queen, oh, yes, the Queen. And her cellar full of dogs And all her dogs Wonder has she any frogs Or has she frogs Does she ever chop up logs Or chop up logs Whoa, oh no, oh no, oh no No, I don't suppose she does I don't suppose It would all be too much fuss Anyway, she'd have a private detective with her. This is going amazingly. Speak for yourself. Private detective with her. Relish the positive while I'm showing it. Oh, yeah, that's true. Just making sure no one ever had a go. At Her Majesty the Queen Someone no one really knows You might think you know your friends Oh, you might think Even when they're on a screen Even when on Yeah, but nobody pretends But nobody That they really know the Queen They really know so I'd love to say I'd been Somewhere deep inside the veins Of Her Majesty the Queen Beautiful Queen Beautiful Queen Queen. I'm gonna miss you when you're gone. 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 Who needs Simon and Garfunkel? Mm. I mean, they'd never do that. I mean, Simon and Garfunkel need each other. Don't Next. tell them that, especially Artie. Oh Happy my God. birthday, Mossy Licker. Happy birthday, birthday. Yes, thank you. We hope it's a fab one. Absolutely. It's Eugene Merman's birthday this week as well. Oh, it's been Eugene. Oh, friend, Eugene was friend uh, Eugene. Same day as um, same day as uh, Julie. Yeah. And uh, which was in fact Sunday, Sunday mm -hmm. the twenty fourth, and, and the our 24th. friend Brandy. Yes. It's a three foot trifecta. Oh, it is. Gosh. Yeah. yeah. Jolly early Leos. Mm -hmm. A generous sign, Leo. They, uh, there's many wonderful things about Leos. Oh. They are, um, can we get a cat that's a Leo and call it Debbie Reynolds? We can. I've got a Leo cat. Cats are Leos already. Well, I think we'd, I should... If she'd just come into the room, you'd be like, look at me, here yeah. I am. Oh, wow. Daphne, Isn't everybody pleased? Daphne well, no needs a bestie. 
Daphne She's already got two bestie cats. Daphne and Debbie. Can't you just see them? Daphs and De- Debs and Daphs. It'd yeah. be like one of those so it'd be like um uh you know, Deborah Winger and um Gina Davis or something. Yeah, exactly. You know. They would be in or one of those Jane Fonda and uh, Candice Bergen or something. Lily Tomlin. Lily Tomlin going off on a on a uh, going off on a, oh, yeah. s- a lady petrol spree for mature. The book club, but it's yeah. Daphne and Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> ah, this You've is. You've even got a spear to harness. It's great. A spear to harness, like Pocahontas. Oh yes. Oh my God, a spear to harness. <laughs> now that is the title of my non-existent autobiography. A Sphere to Harness, the simple story of a Robin Hitchcock. Oh, yeah. (laughs) From the day he found his tiny grandmother in Sioux Falls to the majestic (laughs) night in Tulsa, Oklahoma, when the Holiday Inn was closed. (laughs) He rescued tiny Debbie Reynolds from a flaming building. Yeah, I rescued tiny Debbie. Yes, raff, raff. But Jamie, like, you're a cat. <laughs> wow, wow, that's better. Now I'll risk you. Ooh. Oh God, don't, don't, don't combust. Those are my words to oh. Debbie Reynolds. <laughs> Been up all night, harnessing spears, keeping the good ones for Debbie Reynolds. Play the banjo, dans le foyer. What can you say? To Debbie Reynolds, agents of hell, know them as heathen, I've got my teeth in. To Debbie Reynolds, it's all about success. What are you doing this time tomorrow, baby? It's all about success. I've got some good ones For Debbie Reynolds I look at the muse That I've been chasing Down in the basin For Debbie Reynolds I looked at the sky That I'll never kiss It's a moment of bliss For Debbie Reynolds One tiny cat Resisting the flames Ten thousand shames For Debbie Reynolds But you know what? It's all about success What are you doing this time tomorrow, baby? It's all about success. I got some good ones. Good one. For Debbie Reynolds. Goodbyes. I got some good ones. For Debbie Reynolds. Yeah, I got some good ones. For Debbie Reynolds. Satellite, satellite, oh, 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 satellite, oh, 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 I watched it for a little while. I love to watch things on TV. Ooh, bum bum bum, satellite of love. Bum bum bum, satellite of love. Bum bum bum, satellite of love. Satellite of. I've been told that you've been bold with. Monday to Thursday, Wednesday to Friday with Ringo Tubbs and Dives. I'm sorry, I do miss them, and I know you do as well. I do too. I'm just thinking about our little 
creatures here. Satellite of tubs. Satellite. That's what I was. That's what I was feeling for. Satellite yeah. of tubs. It was kind of, That's what was poking through that song like a fish bone going through a, a nice old Spanish lace doily. Was Possibly it? Possibly Portuguese. It's vivid. Oh, you know, like you said, it's got to be vivid or it's dull. And That's true. What is dullness to creatures such as us? We'd rather be forever uncomfortable, mm. forever hovering on the edge of eternity with wet britches on and yeah. sitting comfortably reading a dull book, mm-hmm. waiting for eternity to come to us. Come on, eternity. Come on, eternity. Good, come on, good girl. Come, come on, on, sit here. Here's a place for you at the table. You've got your own doily. Sorry, there's a fish bone. <laughs> Oh no, not that laugh. <laughs> you know he doesn't laugh like that. George no, I, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, you walked rather near that Gosh, one. Gosh, you've got the the glow of a man who's very excited to have his record coming out. I'm just pleased to be near you. Are you? Yeah. That makes a change. I'm always pleased to be near you unless I'm absolutely raging furious or half asleep or just in a trance. I might just be furiously asleep, but elsewhere, you know. Because it's like thinking about stuff, you know how it is. I do know how it is. Um, do you want to try singing? Someone rec- Oh, you know who requested a song? I've got to get back into the chat, but I will prep myself for some requests. Okay. If you have some requests you'd like to get to Robin Hitchcock immediately, I'll be in the chat in about yeah. five seconds. Yeah, get them to uh, Emma Swift, in fact. And Alrighty. they'll get to me. Well, I'll just look through this little sheet of paper. Oh, I say. It's blank. What do you know? That's exciting. Oh, this is blank. Aha. Once upon a time, there was a convoy. It was a great big trucking convoy, and it carried eggs, largely through the southern states, Texas, Alabama, Oklahoma, second time it's been mentioned this evening, and occasionally back into Louisiana. The uh, convoy of eggs was known locally as an eggvoy because people were in a hurry and they didn't want to have to talk about things all the time. And the eggvoy eventually uh, reached landfall somewhere in South Carolina, a place I never go and I now probably never will. And guess what? This paper is blank, so anything can be true. Thank you very much. Beth would like to hear Sinister But She Was Happy. Oh, I love that song. It involves putting the the guitar into funny tuning, but you know what? Just for you, Beth. Here we go. It's pretty sexy, isn't it? Whoops. Got the old Bob Dylan bootleg buttons there. I don't like alliteration, that just happened. Moon's still shining down over uh, Nashville here. As only a non-moon can. You're watching, in case you wondered, you're watching live from Tubby's house. Tubby isn't here. I am here and I'm desperately trying to sit facing the screen, but I can't because I'm on a weird, loopy, kind of flat, safe thing, you know. Oh, okay. I apologise for almost everything, especially the things that I have no control over. I 
just promises But a sinister A little wave of a hand Goes a long, long way In these troubled times Whoops! But she was happy Like a chandelier festooned with leeches When the queen is dead Who will remove her head? She said, oh, all right you are And your promises are just promises But a sinister A little wave of the hand goes a Long, long way in these troubled times Okay, Beth, that was for you. That was sinister, but she was happy. And, oh my God, I've just found last week's set list. That is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to play any of those. A trifecta of people have requested Rain and Chandler Evening. Oh. Tickle Fox, Mad Curry, and Beth, but a different Beth. Other Beth. Mm -hmm. Rain and Chandler Evening. Well, I can play that. I'm just going to move this up here. My most requested uh, song on this show. Uh, it was Raymond Chandler's birthday um, last week, I think, just before the trifecta of uh, 20, July 24th people. I think his birthday was the 22nd or 23rd of July. It's a Raymond Chandler evening at the end of someone's day. I'm standing in my pocket and I'm slowly turning grey. I remember what I told you, but I can't remember why. Then the yellow leaves are falling in a spiral from the sky. There's a body on the railings that I can't identify And I'd like to reassure you but I'm not that kind of guy Is 
it hasn't happened yet. Um. Oh, you've summoned me back. I've summoned you back, Emma Swift. I love that one. Um. Thank you. I yeah. quite like Raymond Chandler. I love Raymond Chandler. I love his... I love... You love noir. I love his particular noir, because it's also so funny. It is funny. The only thing about... The problem with his books is that no one is able to it utter a, 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 a boring line. Like, everybody cracks wise. You say that, that every time you talk about Raymond Chandler. You Not like Raymond. us. We often say quite boring lines. That's oh, how you God. know well, we I got say that the Raymond Chandler book. Oh, God, and I won't remember that I've said it next time. <laughs> well, folks, I would catch me live sometime in the next 18 months before dementia claims what's left of my you antique don't, brain. You, don't you joke about those kinds of things. I'm we would like to know. <laughs> no. Thank you to Patrick, Stacey, Brian and Anne for your contributions to the Fancy Beast Fund. And to Anne, Anatole, Floyd, and Pie Wackett. Hi, folks. And there's many Anne's. We've got a trio of Anne's. Trio of Anne's. Trio of Anne's. Are they all ending in uh, E or double N? There's some variation. And birthday Anne. Birthday Anne, yes. Yeah. This request we couldn't make has what sent was that? in a second request. I hope I can play this one. Tell me about your drugs. Oh, I can play that, I think. Yeah, could you play that? It's fun. Interesting, because that is a song that Johnny Marr liked. And we did that, I did that with him in Portsmouth years ago. Mm -hmm. And Johnny Marr is the guy who made up the tune for Ordinary Millionaire which is my excuse for why I can't remember the chords exactly. Okay. But I also, there's quite a few of my own songs I can't remember where the chords go either, so fair play. Oh, hang on. Tell me about your drugs. It's this, isn't it? It's that. Maybe it's in B. your drugs what start that again do you know any oh, oh it goes right down chord. well I yeah. think I can yeah. I can't harmonise if you don't play the right chords and I can't play the right chords if I don't remember them like I said it's um, I'm not joking I'm just finding it harder and harder to remember chords oh gosh Robin oh you know here I am I'm just being out about it <laughs> besides no one believes anything since, I say since when did you have confessional stagecraft I can't remember I don't remember oh <laughs> no it's different I might just be somebody else. Here mm. we are. Hang on. Lucky of course, us. it goes down, doesn't it? It goes yeah. down. Um, okay. Sorry. I got it. Do you believe in the Holy Grail? Tell me about your drugs. Do you know anyone in jail? Tell me about your drugs. Up on somebody's floor. Tell me about your drugs, and you just can't take it anymore. Tell me about your drugs. Ah, we all get hit by forces that we just don't understand. drugs do you crave the things that hurt you most oh, yes tell me about yeah. your drugs do you wish that you were someone else tell me about your drugs but you wake up and you're still yourself tell me about your drugs oh we all get hit by forces that we just don't Understand. Well, now tell me about your drugs. Come on, bop shoe up, a oh, wop bop shoe up. Oh, won't you tell me about your drugs? I wanna know more about your drugs. Why don't you tell me about your drugs? 
Why don't you call me up and go for ass and ass and ass and ass and ass about your drugs? Tell me, Morris. And Morris played lead guitar. Chairman Wheat and Wheat and Gilly. But we'll just get out of that. And Ringo and Tubbs. Yeah. Do you believe in the endless sleep? Tell me about your drugs. Do you believe in human sheep? Tell me about your drugs. With the curly little woolly tails. Tell me about your drugs. So they can hang themselves when all else fails. Woo! Tell, tell me about your drugs. drugs. Well, now we all get hit by forces that. We just don't understand. Well, happy birthday, Anne. That was a great request, and mm. I will remember these chords for another few days. I hope you're getting showered with presents and cake, ice cream, Gifts. balloons. Bal nobody's safe as a birthday like a Leo. Leo's That's just, true. Leos are made for birthdays. They are made for you know, birthdays. A, 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 really, a really chronic Leo. Like the way Pisceans are made for drugs. <laughs> oh, and drink. <laughs> To be fair. To be fair. And I mean, I suppose other non-toxic addictions, or I is don't it just? Know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we cheese. I suppose in my case. Cheese. Yeah. It's a, it's Somebody a, ring the cheese it's alarm. It's a cheese factor. The yeah. sequel to tell me about your drugs is actually the cheese alarm, where you just. <laughs> well, guess what? I wrote them both. I mean, there was a ten-year. I did write a few in the ten years between one and the other. But you're oh, right. Did you? Do you want me to bore you by telling you where I wrote Tell Me About Your Drugs? Where did you write Tell Me About Since Your Drugs? Since you asked, it was in the Isle of Wight. <gasps> and guess which month? The dullest, the February. dreariest. Yeah, or well, January, like mm. deep misery. Deep misery. And guess whether anyone else was in the house with me. But when you're on the Isle of Wight, aren't the drugs like scones with cream and jam, um, scampi and chips, Guinness? It was the winter, so there were no scones. Cups of tea. Yeah. And slightly off milk. Yes, yeah. It is a hymn, basically, to slightly off milk and mm -hmm. scampi. Yeah. 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 Crunchy bars. Oh, uh, if I was lucky, I'd get a crunchy bar on a Wednesday. And an aero bar on a Thursday. And we all know what happened to that aero bar that went missing in the Isle <gasps> oh, of Wight. Oh, that's it turned right. Up in, it, we moved it to yeah, Nashville. We moved it to Nashville. <laughs> yeah, I moved it. it turned you discovered up it five years five later. Five years later, because I was dowsing for my... Um, my ATM card, but that's too many facts, I think. Mm, they yeah, need to know way that. too much reality. Yeah, yeah that almost scans. <laughs> um, is it, do you know what? Do you want to sing something? Um, I'll sing S -S something. I'm not quite there yet, okay. but I can be. Would you need to nip off? I'd need to go back into the chat, do a little dousing around for the lyrics, and then come back. Okay, somebody requested the Yip song. Oh, yeah, we I love the Yip that. song. Yeah, somebody requested 1974 as well, right at the top of the show. They did? So let's do both of those. Oh, okay, you want to sing 19... Wow. Yeah. Okay, I on. like 1974. I was thinking of doing a sequel called More 1974. More <laughs> like dreary things that happened then. Feels like 1974 again. Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. Just other kind of inane things that or happened. It's still 1974. It's still 19... Can you believe it? It's 1974 in my heart. I mean, oh. People, everyone wants to escape. They, 1974 just... of the mind. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, mm. you know, in the old days you'd escape back to the 60s, but now people are quite happy to go back. Just to 1974. But a lot of your people would go back to 1996. Mm. You know, when Liam Ooh, Gallagher yeah. was under 35. Oh, yeah. That'd and be he nice. He was really hot. It'd be nice for people. I thought it may. I see there you are. Yeah, I'd be all you gala heads, you the taming of the. Really, was he hotter in his day than old um, uh, Liam? Liam. Well, he had two eyebrows, which helps. <laughs> What's wrong with dark-haired men with a mono brow? <laughs> You've met me in my prime, Ms. Swift. Oh yeah. I would have come. Uh, you, you would have you, come at me with your one eyebrow. <laughs> I would have come at you, but I'd have been standing near you with one eyebrow, and you'd have said. By oh, look, it's Liam thing. Gallagher. <laughs> Please. I, when Liam Gallagher turns up, people said he's ripped you off. But he didn't. It would have been Noel. Noel wrote the songs. No, they just meant about the eyebrows. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. I love joking about the 90s. Well, that's the best thing you could do with them, really, isn't it? 
<laughs> I was already past it in the 90s. Mm. Um, I suspect lots of you were as well. well Sorry, wasn't hello. I even it. <laughs> you weren't it? No. No, that's for you, but it was it for you, mm. all that exciting stuff. Oh, yeah. Boy, that's fun stuff. By the way, is my hair as naff as it looks? Yeah, it's terrible. Oh, God. Okay. I mean, it was good earlier. I don't know what happened. I tried to shoot it. I went, I swam. Oh, okay. They had a submariner contest in mm. the, the pool. What, someone put a wheel of brie at the bottom of the pool? And you had to... <laughs> I got a text saying, Dear Mr. Hancock, there is a wheel of brie at the bottom of the swimming pool. You've been invited to participate in our wheel o brie diving competition. Oh, yeah. Um, um, since you've already washed your hair once this week, mm. yeah, I don't know how they know this stuff, it won't hurt you to get it wet again. You might win a wheel o brie. Oh, lucky you. Well, of course, I got down there and there was just this bloke covered in tattoos who'd nearly eaten all of it. Oh, he'd eaten it all. He'd eaten a wheel of brie underwater without oxygen. Oh, skills. So I thrust myself up to the surface, bloop, 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 and my hair's a bit of a mess. Well, you're always complaining about your hair, though. Well, I'll complain then when it's all gone, I'll complain about not having it anymore. Oh, yeah. That's the British for you, especially Pisces. Dismal bunch. Okay, talking of Dismalia. 1974. Here we go. Okay. Feels 
just like 1974 Ghastly mellow saxophones all over the floor Feels like 1974 You can vote for Labour but you can't, can't anymore Feels like 1974 Digging Led Zeppelin in Murfreesboro Oh Christ! Whoa! That sounds really different with you singing on it. It's rather beautiful. <laughs> that was not the original intention. Oh! Well, I was great. hoping to make it beautiful, but also inane. Well, that's that's what it's all about. That's really. my point. That's your point, darling, and that's the whole point of life from. Uh, Live from Tubby's house. Live from Not Quite Tubby's house, which will be Tubby's actually house. live from Tubby's and house. All being well, if the planes run us right, we'll be back. Uh, the tubs will be there. We'll and be Ringo. back in the paws of little tubs on will. Saturday. Wow. Um, <coughs> you think he's having a nice time without us? Photographic evidence would indicate that he's all right because there is a, a crack team of um, your Cares. brother looking after him. <laughs> Kira's, yeah. There's a. Tubby has his people. Tubby has his, yeah. He's like Jack Nicholson. He's got you know. his roadies. He's got his roadies. He lands on all four feet. Oh, Tubby is like Jack Nicholson. He's really if, is. If someone was going to make a movie... What, of cats playing... Of cat, of yeah. people playing our cats, and I think Jack Nicholson would be a fine Tubby. Yes. Who do you think would be Ringo? Mm. Philip Seymour Hoffman? <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> or, Who's going to um, play Daphne? I mean, Daphne's like Rita. Um, a young, I mean, a young one or an old one, like yeah. Oh, okay. Who do you want to play Daphne? Well, it, from a previous. Emma era, Stone can play Daphne. Oh, well, she probably can now. Yeah. 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 Emma Stone can play Daphne. Jack Nicholson plays Tubby. Oh God, romancing the tubs. Yeah. <laughs> I have to go. Oh no! I'll be yeah. back. Okay. Um, I'm afraid, dear friends, this leaves you in the sonic arms of me. I'm also going to put out a request for a little bit of water, if there is any water around here. Let me see. I know there were some more requests, or there were things that I planned to play. Oh, yeah, I know. I can play this one. <coughs> As we're in Nashville. <laughs> Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Whatever colors you have. In your mind, I'll show them to you, and you see them shine. Lay, lady, lay, lay across my big brass bed. Stay, lady, stay, stay with your man a while. Till the break of day Let me see you make him smile His clothes are dirty But his, his hands are clean And you're the best thing That he's ever seen Stay lady, stay Stay with your man a while Why wait any longer For the world to begin You can have your cake And eat it too Why wait any longer For the one you love When he's standing of you lay lady lay 
lay across my big brother's bed. Stay, lady, stay. Stay while the night is still ahead. I long to see you in the morning light. I long to reach for you in the night. Stay, lady, stay. Stay while the night is still ahead Ah, the Nashville Scan was kind of different in those days when that song was recorded here in, our, I believe, a studio that's now been demolished. Fortunately, old Bob is still with us having changed shape over the years, but um, so, so many of us. Okay. Kristen B would like to hear Hurry for the Sky. Kristen B, Hurry for the Sky. Okay. That's in B too, B minor. <clears throat> oh, can I have a glass of water oh, sometime? Yes. Please, thank you. Okay. <laughs> yourself out yesterday Tomorrow will be fine It's all for the best you say Somewhere down the line Everything is fine Everything is mine Pharaoh's tomb is empty now You can come right in Bandage up your skin, bandage up your sin. Oh, I am in a hurry for the sky. Yeah, I am in a hurry for the sky. Success. success is always relative Money is acute, money is absolute Money be my guest Oh, I am in a hurry for the sky and the merchandising deal he did with uh, for the Beatles um, some years back okay now we've got some more things that are going to happen one of them is me my hand gets big as it reaches for this glass of water just off screen lovingly provided for me by Miss Emma Swift who I think is probably going to be joining me soon for something I oh I yeah join you, my love Okay, gang, 
All right, Groovers. Happy Thursday. It's your last Thursday groove for a while. For a while, yeah, my gosh. Well, we go back to Wednesdays, as nature intended. Yes, as nature apparently did intend. I yeah. do. I like it when the groove is on a Wednesday. Because it's a when midweek. It's midweek. It's a little island of something in the middle of the week. Yeah, it gives us something to kind of catapult An island of towards. Group to, and something to recover from before the weekend. That's true. Uh, yeah. Well, you've uh, always got to recover from something in time for the weekend. Sometimes it's just the weekend before. That's true. Um, I'd like to thank Beth, Leslie and Hilary for your contributions to the Fancy Feast, Feast Fund. Fund. Yeah. No, I which, gave is you... That, a... Which was that other Beth or OG um, Beth? I'm not sure which Beth it was. It's a Beth. It's yeah. one of the Beths. The Beth things in life are free. The Beth things in life are free. Great. I gave you a sheet of paper that had some requests on it. Do you? Earlier. There's lots of bits of paper here. These are all. I love the way you jumble things well, up. Well, I can't see them. The can Shuffle I? Man is an autobiographical song, and it's just about the bits of paper that live on your desk. I've been learning to shuffle cards. Yeah. I'm trying to At age 69, well done, Simon. Well, if I learned something new, it would fend off the dementia, apparently. If your family had more Catholics, you would have been shuffling cards way earlier. (laughs) If my family had more Catholics, it would have been a bigger and probably far more disturbed family. Imagine (laughs) if there were seven of us. Seven Robin Hitchcocks. No, just seven, seven jolly siblings, oh, all man. clad in green around the maypole stout. So I didn't. I forgot to say that 1974 was for Nesta and Izzy, who are watching in Guatemala. Hi, wow. folks. Hey, Nesta and Izzy. Um, and did you do I something you for David? I haven't. I haven't. Would done you like this. to do that? Um, maybe after we do this uh, Velvet Underground song together. Oh, uh, let's do this Velvet Underground song. Um, yes. <clears throat> All right, let's see how much I see remember. how much you can remember. Right. Can you give it a stone groove? So Tom Between thought and expression Lies a lifetime And situations arise Because of the weather And no kinds of love Are better than others Some kinds of love, Margarita to Tom, like a dirty French novel, combines the absurd and the vulgar. And some kinds of love, the possibilities are endless. And for me to miss one, would seem to be grand. Solo. No, I couldn't possibly have missed my this. But you want me to pick for a bit? Oh, I just without you without might missing that, a beat. This is, this is, I think I might just chat keep might it through. Be the solo. I think it might be. This is an implied solo, folks. Byo John Cale. What you said, Margarita heard Tom, and of course you're a boy, but in that you're not charmless, cause a boy is a straight line that finds a wealth in division, and some kinds of love are mistaken for vision.
first go. Put jelly on your shoulder. Let us do what you feel most. That from which you recoil. But which still makes your eyes moist. Put jelly on your shoulder. Let us now kiss the cold breath. I don't know just what it's all about. We'll put on your red pajamas and find out. La da Thank you, my love. I'd love to see you in red pyjamas. You know, it took me about 25 years. I thought he was going rear put pyjamas, and I thought, what the hell are rear put pyjamas? Mm -hmm. I thought it must be something really disgusting that goes with putting jelly on your shoulder. I thought for right. years it was margarita ton ton. I never heard. Yeah, yeah, it was a, there was a bit of that as well. I never margarita heard margarita tog tom. I thought he was just sort of riffing. Because margarita is quite a satisfying margarita, word to sing. It is. It, uh, yeah. No, it's quite a few things that, uh, that if there is a penny, it took a long time to drop. Mm -hmm. Pennies tend to. If there is a penny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I do know how if it is. If there's a penny, there must be a heaven. Oh. There really? must be a heaven somewhere in heaven, Idaho. Heaven is a place. Heaven, oh, Where yeah. nothing ever happens. There's a place, a place where nothing, nothing ever happens. Oh, more songs we don't know how to play. Yeah, I know. You could do your heaven. Like, why don't you do your heaven? You know, I wrote my heaven because there were two really great songs. One was Heaven by the Psychedelic First, and the other was by Talking Heads. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay, well, I guess I'll just see if I can write a song called Heaven. So I did. Okay. Um, needless to say, I don't feel like mine is as good as theirs, but but it's still quite good. It's not bad, and that's I think maybe that's the thing is it's just fine. I mean, some I'd rather I'd rather of, hear yeah. your version of Heaven than hear Tears in Heaven. No, oh, I'm sinking into the marmalade. Oh, bloop 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 bloop. I'm bloop. a Clapton free zone. You are a Clapton free zone. I saw him once and he looked like a like a fish, but not the way that Alan Rickman looked like a fish. So Anne wanted us to play the White Room because we were in um, a very white room earlier. White Room by Cream. Mm. I'd love to. And I can't say I've forgotten the chords because I never knew them. Oh, well, I'm okay. totally. I don't know which Anne that was, but I'd love to work that one out for okay. next week. For next week. We'll, um, for next week, we'll perform yeah, White Room. Yeah, my God. In a non-White Room. Oh, we'll be in a, whatever we're going to be in. We're going to be in the the, the pools tubby of times. Tubby. Yeah. Shall we do Heaven? Okay. Uh, this is okay. This is the uh, Robin Hitchcock song Heaven. Okay. Do you want to point that gram? Point that guitar at the thing. Yeah. Point it at the like groovers. A, you know, it, I feel like I should be doing this. You should be. Oh God, you know, we're going to have to do a leg. Can you kind of divert their attention while I do a weird leg thing? Hello, folks. Have you ever heard of Robin Hitchcock? You look delightedly He's a that. tall, sinister Englishman with a wicked sense of humour and a cheese fetish. <laughs> well, that's what you wanted. Oh, yes. You did that ritual before we met where you mm. wanted to meet that a feng shui tall, ritual. sinister Brit with a cheese fetish. Oh, yeah. I, as I did one, I was trying to conjure up a mad... Small nymph. Done. <laughs> a mad Australian nymph. God, mm. we got what we wanted. A success. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Hey, folks, relationships are funny things, but it's always good to... Sometimes it's quite incredible to have them. I have to say that. Okay. I can never believe anything. It's terrific. 
Ah, the sense of the incredible continues. Okay, so much for philosophy, heat philosophy. All here right. we go. Oh, look, now I'm sitting here. It's like you and I are in a gondola or gondola. Mm-hmm. Sailing backwards through Venice with just a few simple lights. Mm-hmm. I'm serenading you to an intimate crowd of several hundred groovers. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I'd love to go with the groovers to Venice. All of them? Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? You need several boats. Live from Tubby's house. Oh God, not but Tubby's like house, Venezia. Yeah. The question is, would Tubby like to go to Venice? Absolutely. No, Daphne would. I suppose, oh God, he'd just be stalking the back alleys with that eye of his, yeah. freaking people he out on masks. Absolutely mask love it. Yeah. He's Ringo got a mask, would, but it only covers like the one eye. Oh God. Ringo would just sit hunched over his tarot cards, mm-hmm. waiting for someone to give him some food. Mm-hmm. Daphne would well, just Well, if you rock up and you see Ringo in Venice, you give him a can of fancy feast, then he does a three-card reading. Ringo in Venice, that's the title, isn't it? Okay, hang on, let's try this. You've got heaven Heaven in your hand You've got a yawn there Did not because I don't love heaven it's actually because I got up at the ungodly hour of about five this morning oh so I could lovingly shuffle vinyl copies of shuffle mania into the storage unit you know when you're excited about the arrival of something I know so especially you can't vinyl sleep. it wakes you up early yeah 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 um that's a good point so it might it? be time for me to clock off okay darling but you um, could do one or two more songs for I? these lovely groovers okay I will uh, I will do that 
I'll see you in the fo- in You'll the chat, see folks. There. You'll see you in the chat. And um, we'll see you every Wednesday in August. How fabulous! Five shows. Pretty much, if we get that right. Yeah. Um, Wednesday, 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 Wednesday. Yeah. It's consistent. Um, Remarkably consistent. Is the first? Well, maybe it is. It might be the last. The last Wednesday of. I mean, by then we're hurtling towards autumn. Oh gosh! Don't hurry the summer away. Ah, uh, no, 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 it'll do that by itself. Okay, let me just play some... Love on uh, you, folks. A little more. Uh, oh, boy, okay. This is me on my own. I'm sitting at this angle because I can play better. was requested by Max so I'm going to go into a tuning from which there is no return which means sound like a collision of cats but actually actually it's San Francisco Patrol here we go What is this? 
one of my favourite Robin Hitchcock songs. Uh, this tuning leads me to... That song's called San Francisco Patrol. Oh, what did I say? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my God, you're right. It's called... It is called San Francisco Patrol. What did I say? I can't take my eyes off you. Ah, uh, no, it's, I, that, it's not called that at all. It's called San Francisco Patrol. Oh, that's one of my favourite Robin Hitchcock songs too. Okay, well, there you are. <clears throat> Doesn't look like. Um, well, I can still remember how to play it, even if I can't remember what it's called. Okay, this one here is in another tuning. I'm going to leave you with this and then raga out. Thanks so much for tuning in to Live from Tubby's House. Next week, as you've probably heard, we'll be back with Tubby, and uh, August will see us back on the regular Wednesday keel, all being well. Have a successful, thrilling and fulfilling and survivable and above all good week and uh, we'll see you then. Here we are.
Voila Notte, darling.